Beyond Blue has just released on Apple Arcade in April 2020. It's brought to you by E-Line Media in association with BBC Studios. Today I'm going to present my initial thoughts on this underwater adventure and showcase how it performs across my Apple devices. If you've played and loved underwater games from Abzu, Subnautica, and Endless Ocean, Beyond Blue is the next big thing you should try out, providing an authentic ocean diving experience. The game is inspired by Blue Planet 2 by BBC. According to Eline Media, they were actually approached by BBC who were fans of their last game, Never Alone. Together, they collaborated on the game to feature scenes that are inspired by the documentary, from footage and science discovered whilst creating the series. In the game, you play as Mariah, a deep sea explorer and scientist who will work together with a research team to see, hear, and interact with the ocean around you. The game happens to be set in the near future, and Eline told me the advanced technology that is in this one is based on real conversations they had with experts in ocean science. You'll go out on daily dives and will explore the very top of the ocean, to the very bottom, using your advanced suit. Come across different marine life from humpback whales, bottlenose dolphins, leatherback turtles, atoller jellyfish, scalloped hammerhead sharks, and trust me, a lot more life is to be discovered. My favourite part of the game was scanning all the different marine life, allowing you to learn everything from their species, vocalisations, breeding grounds, family tree, if they're pregnant, where they're born, footprint on the environment, and so forth. Once your dive finishes, you return back to your submarine where you can glance at your equipment, change music, take an in-depth look at the marine life on your science log, and prep for your next dive. I also love how footage has been supplied by BBC, so you can watch clips from their documentary and from other sources too, anytime from the Insights menu. Beyond Blue can teach you so much about what goes on in the ocean. I think many people, including myself, will appreciate learning all of this. Eline Media also brought along really talented voice actors who delivered believable performances. They were real, charismatic, witty, and also displayed great emotion at times. Players can even choose different voice lines, which changes your interaction with the other characters. I'll dive in the vents without a map. Nobody messes with my whales. It's not a perfect game though, I mean, what game is? I have a few minor issues that Eline can look towards. When going up close and using the scanner, it could be quite awkward. As the camera is locked to your target, this resulted in it being somewhat difficult to scan at times. Also, the camera would often get stuck behind something in the foreground. Not sure how they can fix this. Perhaps the camera doesn't have to be locked to the target and it can just be an open camera, if that makes sense. Plus, it would be great if when you connect a controller, the touchscreen buttons disappear. Lastly, the soundscape for the game can be really quiet at times. Take a listen and see if you agree. All that said, what is really fantastic about the sound design is hearing all the different vocalizations from the whales or dolphins, etc. Echo clicks. I could feel it across my body, just checking me out. Then comes to the performance. Across my Apple TV 4K, iPhone 11 and iPad Pro 3rd generation, the visual quality and performance is for the most part great. I noticed a few frame rate drops, but nothing major or that the general gamer would notice. However, on my 2019 5K iMac, the performance is mixed. 
The frame rate seems to be a bit lower. The visual fidelity doesn't look as great and there is noticeable screen tearing. This is strange considering this machine is significantly more powerful than the others. I strongly suggest that Eline Media consider adding a custom graphic option on Mac. So if you have a high-end Mac, you can raise the resolution, enable more advanced settings and turn on VSync to remove screen tearing. It's worth noting, while Beyond Blue is best experienced on newer devices, it's still fully supported on Apple devices from the last five years. I just think that the Mac version needs some further optimization to get it more smooth. Are you going to play Beyond Blue on your Apple device? Do you think it's one of the most educational games on Apple Arcade? What do you think of the controls? What do you just think of the game overall? Leave a like if you enjoyed this review and subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted about future uploads on Apple Arcade. Anyway, thanks for watching.